Okay, um, a couple people have been asking me about um, how I've set up my amp and volt meters and the battery meter to get um, separate readings on them. Um, first of all, what I did was that from Coleman Air I bought this power supply, which is right here, and it's an um, isolated power supply, So, because you cannot run your voltage and your amp meter off the same ground because what will happen is you'll get feedback through and it'll mess them both up so they have to be separate power or separate ground so this power supply does that then what I did to add my other meters to it I spliced into the wires so that because I have another set of amp and volt meters down here and another battery the battery runs right off the battery gives me my voltage off of it um, this volt meter and amp meter runs off of the solar panels now because I have a battery one and I have a voltmeter I can't run them both off the same side as how can I say this um okay the feed coming in here from my solar panels if that was hooked up anywhere in here I had to put a blocking diode in here so it's hooked up to the blocking diode so that the juice from here can't come backwards in because my battery voltage was coming back through and feeding into it and it was I was getting the same reading on the voltmeters so if you go to the blocking diode put it where on the the inside of it then it comes into the shunt these two wires here that come from your amp meter they're coming out of here and then I put they were soft and then I put in a little um, connector here and then I went to hard wire I got that at Home Depot it's just um, thermostat wire that's the right size for that so if you notice the yellow one has a loop in it here both these wires on the shunt have to be the same length within an eighth of an inch anyway um, if they're not they won't give you a, a a reading it'll just come up A's then you'll notice that I have my lead coming from this side comes down and across that's my voltmeter hooking up to here and that goes to here one powers off of one side I spliced in to these two meters it got complicated here but if you're only using one set then all you need is you can run your voltmeter off your batteries but you need a separate power supply for your amp meter. Now, if you look at these, a couple people I've talked to didn't realize this, but if you look at your amp meter, you've got your voltage feeding in here. The first two here are your sensors, the in. The voltmeter is different. The first two are your voltage in then the first one and the last one are your sensors so make sure you pop your covers off and um, look at that now some of these are 12 volt from what I understand so you can run them right off the 12 volt off of the battery for the first one and then get a 12 volt power supply something small that would run like a security camera I have that's what I used before I have a whole bunch of them here and just use one of them they're like one milliamp or something like that but because I'm running solar panels and the turbine and I wanted to know what was coming in from each so what I'm gonna have to do is take this another one of these blocking diodes I just ordered a couple they should be in, in a couple days um, off my shunt from the turbine I'm going to have to put one here because I'm getting juice coming back from my battery because this this one from my turbine goes directly to the battery so I was getting juice feeding back so what I'm gonna have to do is put a blocking diode here so I'm not getting the juice back and I'm getting a reading off of here and then for the volts on the turbine up here I have to put another one here another blocking diode here and then my um, my meter will come across and hook onto this side of the blocking diode that way I'm getting whatever's feeding in and nothing after that and off of this whatever's amperage is coming to here nothing after that that way I got to isolate everything it get, gets real complicated but um, I got the power supply from Coleman Air 
that and then I just split off of that to power the other ones I got the amp one I split the wires up I've got the amp one feeding the other amp one for power and this volt one feeding the other volt ones for power and it seemed to work so uh, this is how I've got it all and seems to be working pretty good so as you can see it's not really sunny out right now but you can see here I've got the battery voltage right now the turbine's not hooked up but I got the battery voltage it's at 26 and right now the solar panels are giving me 26.6.1 amp it's not sunny outside as you can see it's just a dull overcast day then I've got it feeding down from there uh, to the charge controller and then I just got the batteries all set up the other night here so feeds out of there and into my battery banks I've got them set up for 24 volt right now and then from there it's feeding into the battery backup and that's what I'm using for an inverter and I've got some more of these batteries coming these are right now I've got here 400 amp hours at 24 volts which is pretty good okay any more questions um I'll see if I can do a drawing of how I did this and then video the drawing or if you want I can email a drawing to you of how I did it but I want to test it first with the other two blocking diodes to make sure it's working before I tell anybody to do it and blow theirs up so I'd rather test it myself but right now everything on the solar part and the battery is working fine I just need the two other blocking diodes to make sure that's working fine Okay, hope that helped you a bit, but make sure you get separate power supplies or it will not work.